Christy Ellis Ross. That's me. And Kate McKinnon. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, do you know where your camera is? I know, I know. Is there? Oh, there How is. How do you do that? There is one. There's one there. She yeah. always oh, knows. Sure. I think we should yeah, all sorry. try that. What has been your most mortifying moment ever as a performer? Oh. I will begin. Thanks. Oh, hey. Thank you. Hey. I, um, I was invited to do stand-up comedy for the booker of the then prestigious Aspen Comedy Festival. I was told that I had to bring 10 people. I couldn't wrangle 10 people, so I had to pay $40 for each of the seven people I couldn't wrangle. The three people who came were men from my then telemarketing job. Okay, I went, I did my stand-up. It was supposed to be five minutes. I did a tight two and a half. The woman afterwards, I said, what did you think? She said, there was not enough for me to judge, but what I did see, oh. I didn't like. No. I went to a Starbucks bathroom and cried for 15 minutes. Then the men texted me and said, where are you? Would you like to get a drink? I said, no, I'm going home. They said, please. They texted me an address. I went. It was a Hooters. <laughs> I spent my night at the Hooters. That's the <laughs> best. <laughs> but look at you now. Who yeah, books that? Yeah, it worked out. So That'd be a sad story. Now, now I go to Hooters story. on the rank. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to say something which is that I've never done a sex scene, and I am prudish, I think, and even when I've had to kiss someone in a scene, my mind thinks for the next hour, <laughs> see, <laughs> I just wanted to touch it. I know, and now I'm, like, I do think we're in love for the next hour. Yeah. Like, why, it's, I, it's a middle school frame of mind. <laughs> when you kill someone in a movie or on a television show, they don't, you don't kill them. So I always am confused by <laughs> So smart. <laughs> yes, you do. This is very what? good. So right? smart. That's very good. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I literally had a guy who came up to me at lunch and said, you're really enjoying that buffet, aren't you? <gasps> no. Who the fuck is yeah, that? I'll tell you afterwards, worst person alive. Oh, and I oh hope God. he watches this, which he won't, because he's drunk. Kate, what's your presence on social media? Um, it's, uh, I send email, <laughs> and I send text messages to about five people, and other than that, it's absolute zero. I'm, Is that on purpose, so you yes, don't want to expose yes. yourself? I'm very frightened of um, saying anything. <laughs> and I, um... Is that because you think your humor may be misinterpreted? Yes, I just, I scare myself, so I don't want to, <laughs> I just don't want to put anything out there that would, um, <laughs> misrepresent my, my real feeling. Or mostly, actually, if I had Instagram, it would just be pictures of my son, who is a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Again, well, I think like, you need to get, I know, I keep thinking about babies. And on SNL, how, getting back to what we were talking about before, how much input do you have on the characters you play and sort of the image that you want to portray through the show? Because people become so identified with, now when I think Justin Bieber, I, I mm -hmm. think of you. Um, we, have a, we have a huge impact on it because we participate right. in the writing of it. Um, some, occasionally something will be handed to me. Actually, Justin Bieber was originally handed to me. By I was going to say, they handed you Justin. <laughs> a sketch that, uh, that Colin Jost wrote, and I was thrilled because I hadn't gotten to play boys before, and now I've made kind of a habit of it, and I <laughs> am very grateful that they let me do that. So, yeah, we really get to decide what we're um, putting on the show. We don't, we don't get to decide what makes it in the show. Often it right. gets cut, but it's not, we're not often made to do something that we're What have we're you said no to? Uncomfortable. Um, what of a tits, tits out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you look like you have great tits. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, there's nothing I've said no to because it's been vetoed already by the people in charge, mercifully. But if it, if it had come to me, I think I would... I would have stood up for myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to think. Um, there are no women in late night right now. In the last three years, it's sort of been musical chairs. Boo! Boo! <laughs> um, Aside from Kate, she's been late night on Saturdays. Yeah. She's a lady of the night. <laughs> she's a sketch show. Uh, hosting. Like the way that we're spoken to on social media is truly shocking like it's rape threats it's death threats it's wishing fun. of ovarian cancer yeah big time aids um, you is a big gotta one. get on twitter you got it. Oh. It's so what's the biggest fight you've had to fight for what you're worth in the business i'll work for a hamburger <laughs> i just i i really still at this level you feel that? i 
I just want to be on stage. <laughs> I just want to be out there doing I, it. I, Kate, yes. can you please tell me where do you think funny comes from? There was an episode of RuPaul's Drag Race. Yes. God, I love RuPaul's Drag Race. You got our attention. Where they had to do stand-up comedy. And, I mean, drag queens have to do, they have every skill in the world. Rita Rudner was helping them with their comedy oh, routines. Good. <laughs> and um, she said a quote that I still remember, which was something to the effect of, um, there's nothing funny about a, a confident person who's doing well. <laughs> them, one of them was sort of like bragging and just looked gorgeous and was just sort of like saying that they were feeling good. And, <laughs> and I think, uh, I, to me, I, I start from a place of exploiting um, things in me that mm. I find objectionable and and displaying them and celebrating them. And for me, that's where I that's where you get um, or try to get ideas from. I never have any fucking ideas. Well, yeah, well, never, never. I've seen space. you have ideas. <laughs> I've seen you have ideas, lady, and they're funny. You have a huge platform in the next year and a half being the Hillary Clinton of SNL. How are you, how are you going to approach that? Do you feel pressure? Um, I do feel immense pressure. I'm rooting for her, obviously. Try and I'm rooting for you. Um, Me too. And I believe you can make you so it funny much. while also not compromising our race. That is the challenge because mm -hmm. um, once it becomes a comparison, that will be a different story. Right now, the story is just that Hillary's running. And um, what's the secret to doing Hillary? What when you study her? <laughs> <and> <laughs> 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 No, it's a combination of the uh, the people who wrote those cold opens were uh, Chris Kelly and Sarah Schneider, who are two the funniest geniuses. funniest people in the world. Who, the, who have everything I've ever been proud of, they've written. So I think it's a combination of their uh, take on her that they had, and then I uh, just wanted to play on the inherent contrast between a woman who is so driven and so... Um, hardened by her experiences and needs this, and the country needs this, and also a little sweetie granny from the Midwest, just the, the juxtaposition of those two things. Have you heard from her at all about her? I have not. They there tweeted was, you. There was a tweet on Who? National High Five Day, mm -hmm. which <laughs> exists. Who tweeted? The Hillary campaign. The Hillary Ooh, campaign yes. tweeted oh, a, a gif of her High-fiving. So I guess she saw it, or someone on her team saw it. There's and no way at some point you're not going to be asked to appear with her at an so Hillary exciting. function, and I will be in the front row. She has the best <laughs> sense of humor. Yeah. She's like a laugher and like the coolest. I've, I'm certain that she is. I I would be so nervous to meet her just because I find her so resplendent. and um, Resplendent. Resplendent. That is the word mm. of Resplendent. the day. Okay. How, do I, to, how does the, each of you balance your needs for your own comedy with political correctness and how do you know when you've gone too far or, or if you've ever gone too far? I like listen to my pussy. <laughs> like I just, <laughs> Yours went, talks? Hey. What does it we tell need you to work on, on that? As a general rule. Correctness. Mm -hmm. I think if your intentions are I'm good. I'm telling you. Do you guys hear it's that? It's too hard. <laughs> <laughs> Spread your legs, Amy. <laughs> Had no idea that was coming, did you? It's so good. But I always get the like a, a lot of screams of like, there's the virgin. I love and it. And I'm like, I, I wish people would yell at it. There's <laughs> I get, there's that lady from the Chew. You do no. not get Carla. No. All the time. I mean, oh my gosh, Top Chef contestant Carla. As I said, by the way, oh as I said, I was God. like, for a police lineup, they might call the two of us. I'm like, uh, we're gonna bring it back to Hillary for just a moment. What would you write for her campaign slogan? I think it, it would just be, guys, come on. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a humble brag? But you did I, just get snapped by the paparazzi in Hawaii, and it was like so annoying. Oh, wow. Wow. Well, it was annoying because like I was like my stomach was like dis like we were eating big breakfasts every day, so I looked like I had like Alfred Hitchcock's body, and people were like, <laughs> and I had no and the I'm, distended and I'm, belly. Yes, and my husband is very good about like y you're nothing. You're going <laughs> oh my God, never I be anything. Love <laughs> love <laughs> relationship. It's very good. I'm just, I'm like so tired. <laughs> I, I just prayed for so many years to be tired because mm. I was just so unemployed and uh, so, had feeling. so much time and just was so desperate to be working like a dog. And now I am for the moment, Baruch Hashem. <laughs> um, and uh, I'm really tired and I'm like sick and I'm always, just always sick. Um, but it's like cool because it's like you're sick because you're like she's always on SNL. She's like, I'm working so hard on SNL. Earlier I was like, do you get some time off? And she was like, no, I have to shoot this. And I was like, Ghostbusters! <laughs>
Okay. All right, Tracy, you're closing out the show. No pressure. Oh, closing okay. out the show. Um, I, I have to say that I'm driving a really fancy car that was given to me. Yay! <laughs> Let's never awesome. apologize for anything. No, right. no, no. Pack. I just, we were talking about the sack they go no. in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, no, why would you say that?